Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see such a high voltage DC switch mode power supply, which is this one. First, let's see where such a power supply is used in the industrial world. As you can see, here is our power supply. Here is a switch which controls the charging from the supply to, to the pulse forming network here. Usually a semiconductor type switch. The charging current limit resistor. A line type modulator. For driving a pulse magnitude which will be here. This refers to the magnetron's cathode, a post transformer, a siren tube switch, which will be functioned as a switch for such a high current, high voltage DC pulses, driving signal to the grid, and the filament to filament voltage to the cathode of the magnetron. This structure is quite similar as in a household micro microwave oven as the cathode is floating at high voltage negative pulses. This is a tank circuit of the LLC resonant converter and those are the values in my circuit which gives me a resonant frequency 40.9 kHz and currently I just drive the tank circuit below one half of its resonant frequency. That's because if you drive the resonant tank circuit below one half of its resonant frequency, you will see here, from here to here is actually one four cycle. And if I do that, you will see the IGBTs actually switches switches off during its free reading diode conducting right you can see it here and here it's very simple and um, you can use the first equation for choosing the suitable IGBT switch those two equations here will help you to calculate for the needed capacitance and the frequency for a constant power level. Alright, and um, I would like to say that I might build a 40 kilowatt DC power supply in June or July this year by using a four bridge on 324 volts bus voltage. I will use CM600 IGBT bricks and uh, that might be the last project before I continue on my graduate pro education. All right, let's see how I test this power supply. Currently, I'm still waiting for the experience of some high power resistors and uh, I can only do such a test. You can see just water there, two electrodes connected to the output of the transformer. The designed voltage, oh no, the designed current is around one amp output but since the water's resistance is too low for my test, just around 2 to 3 kilo ohms, in this case, in this distance, in the surface area here, and uh, that will only give me around 3 kilowatt testing output power. Since you know such a power supply is a constant current source, and uh, the current, the power output will be also uh, limited by the resistance at the output. So uh, I simply just turn up my variac here, make sure the grid driven 
the gate driven is functioning and the output current at the output side of the variac simply turn it on okay 205 volts around 10 amps oh no maybe electrolytic electro maybe some ions in the water lower the resistance but that is not what I'm going to show you um, most importantly uh, I want to show you the current oh no the voltage across the transformer you see remember this waveform here if you really want to build such a power supply this is very important I will explain that later okay let's see how much heat the bridge maybe just five degrees uh, temperature rise but the wires are very hot very hot I can smell the rubber all right I said that you should remember that waveform because I currently I don't have a proper current probe uh, so I just use this very dirty method for measuring the voltage remember that this is a voltage waveform all right since here you have a high impedance so this is actually a voltage uh, transducer all right simply as the transformer all right because it's high impedance so the waveform you just saw is actually the voltage waveform across these two inductors all right the voltage waveform uh, many people is familiar with the these uh, strange centrifuges waveforms but that is a current waveform and you should use a proper uh, low impedance current probe I mean a uh, low inner impedance all right and uh, if you do like this you will actually see the voltage waveform which I just showed you and uh, thanks for watching and I hope uh, you will see a successfully operating 40 kilowatt high voltage DC converter in this year's summer thank you everyone